So guys, today we'll be solving error and uncertainties past papers, MCQs, paper one. So if you look at the first question, the power dissipated in a resistor of a resistance R is calculated using the expression P is equals to V square upon R, where V is the potential difference across the resistor. The percentage uncertainty is V is 5% and R is 2%. As we can see, uh, V uh, v, uh, the power on V is 2 and the power on R is 1. So what is the percentage uncertainty in P? Okay, uh, if we have P ke square laga hai aur R ke hai sirf a, one power hai. So, jab bhi koi square hota hai, ya square hota hai, ya third uh, like cube ya uh, 4, 5, 6 power jitni bhi hoti hai. So we will multiply it with the percentage uncertainty like we have done here. If we want the total uh, uncertainty of p so hum 5 ko 2 se multiply karenge because the power is 2 and r ke paas hamare paas uh, one e power hai to 1 likhne ki zarurat hai 1 into 2 is 2 so the total will be 12 percent uske baad um dusra question the micrometer is used to measure the 20 uh, uh, 28.50 millimeter with a plastic ruler the micrometer reads to near is 0.01 the precision is 0 0.01 millimeter. What is the correct way of this reading? So here, yeah. so 0 0.01 into 10 key power minus 2 equals to 0 0.1 millimeter. Okay, meter can there. So 0 0.01 into 10 key. First, we will convert from millimeter to meter. So millimeter to 0 0.01 into 10 key power minus 2. Uh, meter and then 0 0.01 into 10 key power minus 3 meters it will be 0 0.01 into 10 key power minus 3 and it will be 0 0.01 millimeter so 0 0.001 into 10 key power minus 2 is 0 0.01 millimeter so the the percentage the uncertainty here will be zero if we multiply 0 0.01 with 0 point uh, with uh, 10 to 10 to the power minus 2 so the it will be equal to 0 0.01 millimeter as we have seen here so the answer will be c because the width is 28.50 millimeter if we consider question number three you what so the sides of the wooden block are measured with calipers. The length of the sides are measured at 20 millimeter, 40 millimeter, and 10 millimeter. The calipers are used to measure absolute uncertainty of 0 0.1 millimeter. What is the percentage uncertainty calculated in the in the uh, calculated volume block? So what is the formula of volume? Volume is length into breadth into height. If the uncertainties get multiplied, then the total, uh, then the uncertainty, and then the uncertainty is uncertainty upon the length width or length width or so life we consider the length here is uh, the length here is 40 okay 40 millimeter and the calipers can measure absolute uncertainty of 0 0.1 each side has a uncertainty of 0 0.1 to calculate the total uncertainty we will divide this uncertainty by the length width or height so 0 0.1 upon 40 0 0.1 upon 10 0 0.1 upon 20 so total will be 0 0.015 so if we uh, multiply it by 100 then we will get 1.75 percent which is equal to 1.8 percent so what could be reduced by systematic error? This question, if you have a good grip on theory, so you can solve it easily. So what reduce systematic error? Systematic errors cannot be collected by taking average, averaging a large number, no, reducing the sample size, no, reducing, uh, repeating measurement, careful calibration of measurement instruments. So it can uh, reduce systematic error, careful calibration of. So let's move on to question number five the power loss p resistor is calculated using the formula p is equals to v square upon like uh, in question when we did so the power on v uh, v is two and the power on r is one the percentage uncertainty in the potential difference is three volt potential difference which is the power of two which v has a power of two it is three percent and the percentage uncertainty in the resistance is two Two percent. So simply, what can we do is multiply two with this three and multiply one with this two. So the total will be two into three six plus two eight. So the answer of the 
total expression uncertainty will be 8%. Consider question number seven. A student wishes to determine density P of lead. He measures the mass and the diameter of a small sphere of lead. Mass is equal to 0 0.0506 plus 0 0.05 diameter is this. What is the best estimate of the percentage uncertainty calculated? As we know percentage uncertainty, so we will divide this 0 0.05. If, if you know the formula, how to calculate the percentage, and so we will simply, what will the for, formula is here, G mass upon mass plus. Okay, so estimate uncertainty of the density. So first we will make the formula of density. So first we have to take out the volume of the sphere. Volume of the sphere is equal to four upon three pi r cube. Volume of sphere is equal to four uh, pi r cube. We can, we, will, uh, by, we can replace r by dividing diameter by two, which is equal to r diameter. If we divide it by two, then we will take out the volume by evaluating this expression pi d q upon three. The formula for density is mass upon volume. We can simply replace volume by this expression. So we can see that the formula, final formula we get is six pi upon m d q. Like, so the uh, so the power on Q, uh, D is three and the power on mass is one. So change in mass 0 0.05 on the uncertainty divided by the uh, reading 0 0.506 plus. We will multiply as the power of three uh, if D is three. So we multiply three by 0 0.02 upon 2.2. Remember this, jab bhi hamare paas koi power hogi, chahe wo hamare paas, uh, oh, jethe upar hamne jethe expression calculate we will uh, multiply this uncertainty the run me uncertainty dvt we will multiply this power with this any power like it's 10 15 20 3 4 we'll multiply with the uncertainty like here we have to calculate the uncertainty so we will again multiply 3 with this whole expression what is this whole expression it is the percentage uncertainty but you have a for key you put me dvt up i mean a colony per year now Consider to question eight. The two quantities P and Q are directly proportional to each other. Experiment results are taken and plotted in graph of Q against P. Which graph show the random error in the measurement of P? Random errors are random error. Jab bhi hota hai, to pa line of best fit banti hai. Graph hai, bilkul origin se start hota hai. Or directly proportional hai, to usme hume dekhna padega ki if uh, uh, two quantities are directly proportional, then the line uh, we draw is a straight line. So, and the in random error, hamesha ye yaad rakhenge, remember this, ke random error ke andar agar mein nikal hoonga, random error ke andar hamesha graph origin se start ho raha hoonga, aur line of best fit hoongi hamesha, line of best fit. Line of best fit, as we all know, kya hoti hai. So, ek andar agar hum dekhe hain, to graph origin se start ho raha hai, bilkul hamari pehli fulfill kar raha hai condition ke graph humara start ho raha hai, origin se. Lekin, dousari condition fulfill फिल बिल्कुल भी नहीं कर रहा कि ग्राफ जो है वो है लाइन ऑफ लाइन ऑफ बेस्ट फिट नहीं बनी लाइन ऑफ बेस्ट फिट के अंदर या तो इधर पॉइंट्स होंगे या तो इधर पॉइंट्स होगी या एक आज जो है कभी कभार लाइन पे लेकिन फिर चारों के चारों पॉइंट्स लाइन पे हैं तो ये हमारा ग्राफ नहीं होगा बी के अंदर हमारे पास एक वो कर रहा है कि स्ट्रेट लाइन नहीं बन रही क्योंकि यहां पे लिखा है एक्सपेरिमेंट्स रिजल्ट इन अ ग्राफ क्यू अगेंस्ट पी डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल directly proportional uske baad aur dusri baat pehli bhi nahi kar rahi aur dusri bhi hai ki line of best fit nahi hai kyunki ye points line pe aa rahe hain teesra teesra ka agar hame dekha jaye to hamare paas jo hai graph bilkul straight line se banna hai matlab directly proportional hai aur line of best fit kya ban rahi hai point idhar 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 line pe nahi hai bilkul sahi hai chautha is wajah se hum reject karenge kyunki ek to pehli baat points line is pe hai aur dusra ye origin se start nahi ho raha so c is the correct answer question number 9 dekha jaye agar hamare paas to question number 9 जो है हमारे पास a man of mass 75.2 kg uses the set of weighing scales to measure his mass three times he obtains the following reading reading one reading two reading which statement best describes the precision and accuracy of the weighing हमारे पास ये जो है three significant figure के अंदर लिखा हुआ है सही है सही है not precise to 0.1 kg uh, and accurate to 0.1 kg दूसरा है not precise to 0.1 kg and not accurate to 0.1 kg 0.1 kg 81.2 not accurate लिख का not accurate लिख का भाई सही है precision precise to 0.1 kg and accurate to 0.1 kg 
ये भी नहीं होगा हमारे पास प्रिसाइज टू जीरो पॉइंट वन एंड नॉट एक्यूरेट टू जीरो पॉइंट वन के जी हमारे पास एक्यूरेसी नहीं है इसके अंदर जीरो पॉइंट वन की हमारे प्रेसिजन है क्योंकि इसके अंदर डिफरेंस जो है हमारे पास वो जीरो पॉइंट वन के जी का आ रहा है प्रेसिजन जो दो वैल्यूज के अंदर डिफरेंस होता है वो होता है सो वी विल कंसिडर प्रिसाइज टू जीरो पॉइंट वन एंड नॉट एक्यूरेट टू जीरो पॉइंट टू के जी So now we we will consider this question number ten. A uh, micrometer screw gauge is used to measure the diameter of a small uniform steel sphere. The micrometer reading is five point zero zero millimeter plus minus zero point zero one millimeter. What will be uh, what will be the percentage uncertainty in the cal calculation of volume of the sphere using this micrometer is used to measure diameter of small uniform steel sphere. So first we will look what is the uh, formula of volume of sphere. Volume of sphere is four upon three. Pi R cube, four upon three pi R cube. If we simplify it by placing the diameter uh, d upon two instead of R cube, then we will get a expression pi d cube upon three. So what is the, what is the power on d? D the power on d is three. So first we will multiply three by the uh, percentage uh, uncertainty zero point zero one upon five, and we will multiply by it hundred. So we can this is a pretty simple question. We will get zero point six percent. Question number, question number eleven. A digital balance is used to weigh ingredients in a laboratory when a laboratory when a weight is applied to the digital balance in electronic circuit generates a current which is then converted to a digital read out to the display. The electronic current gives a current of two milli two milli ampere when a weight of thirty newton is applied. Mean it means that uh. Yes, the value on if the value on x axis is thirty, then the value on the y axis should be two, as we as the current is here the y axis and x axis is the weight, and the current of zero point five milli ampere when a weight of five newton is applied. So we will see that zero point five ampere. The graph should be of decreasing. It will be from like, yes. So because the weight when the weight is thirty, then it is. a uh, graph so first we will see like here the graph starts from 0 0 so and when it is like which calibration curve so it would be a because as you can see in b when it is 30 the reading is not to ampere it is we don't know what it is but it is not to we can simply see that when the in d we can see that when the weight is 30 then the current is not to and in c if the current is to ampere is current is to ampere on 30 weight but the graph is not of decreasing because as we can see the electronic current gives a current of 2 milli ampere when a weight of 30 newton is applied and a current of 0.5 milli ampere when a weight of 5 newton is applied we can see that the weight is increased by 6 times like 5 into 6 30 but the but the current is not increased by uh the current should be if the graph should have been increasing the current should be 5 into 3 but it is 2 so it means that the graph is decreasing so it will be a it would it will be a if you consider question number 12 for a student measure time interval they known to be 1.734 the measurement recorded by e student is shown which measurement is accurate enough so if we round off to 1 1.734 it would be 1.7 if we 1.1 uh 1 it would be wrong because if we round to correct decimal so it would be 2 because it is 1.7 and if we consider c it is 1.83 1.83 doesn't make any sense because it is like it is not accurate and neither it is properly rounding off in same as with 1.604 so the accurate answer will be 1.7 because if we round to 1.7 it would be Uh, one point seven three four, but it is less than fifty three four thirty four is less than fifty two three one point seven digit. We consider question number fourteen. The student take reading of volume of a liquid using three different pieces of measurement x y z. The true value of the volume is v. Okay, uh, the student are there. How many pieces of are precise and how many accurate? If the 
graph is accurate, then the peak of the graph would be at this true value, like here. And if the graph is not accurate, then the peak value will not be at the true value, peak value of the graph, like mean the peak curve would be not be at the true value. And you will check precision by checking the area under the uh, uh, checking the area under the graph. If the area under the graph is less, then it is precise. And if the area is graph under is large, then it is not precise. So if we consider X, then the true value it is at its peak. Graph ka jo sabse unchi value hai, sabse highest value is true value V pe. So graph is accurate. But if we check the area under the curve, then the area is large. So it would be only accurate, not precise. Ye wala graph accurate or na to koi precise hoga because it is touching the it is this graph would be not Neither it would be accurate nor precise because if we can see that this graph jo hai paas, ye touch nahin kar pa raha, paas, x axis ko x axis ko jo graph ye wala bhi not accurate nor precise hoga kyunki ye bhi graph x axis ko touch hi nahi kar pa raha because agar hum pehle wale ko dekhein ye pura x axis ko touch kar raha hai close ho raha hai na isme kar raha hai to ye dono accurate precise jab bhi graph accurate jab bhi graph x axis ko touch nahi karega matlab close nahi hoga ek to graph hamare paas neither accurate hoga aur na hi ye precise hoga uske baad if we see Push, so see the number of precision would be one and number of pieces accurate would be one. The width of the table measured. Ye humne itte saare se question kare ho par ye ab ab wo aayi gaya hoga. The width of the table is zero point one centimeter and the length is measured as zero. What is the area of the table? Area of the table. A width of table is measured in length. So area would be length into breadth. First we will con um, convert length uh, centimeter to meter. 5.50.3 multiplied 10 power minus 2 into 1 point it would be 0 0.72 and the absolute uncertainty would be by multiplying this percentage uncertainty 0 0.1 upon 50.3 and 0 0.01 no need to convert centi uh, uh, this to centimeter because it is a ratio and the units get cancelled 0 0.1 upon 50 plus 0 0.01 upon 1.4 and if we uh, then we will calculate this and we will multiply with this uncertainty and this uncertainty should be of three significant figure if we place it here so it will be 0 0.0643 and if we rounded off so it would be 0 0.06 to make it in three significant figures 0 0.06 uncertainty and 0 0.704 so answer would be b the sides of the cube are measured with uh calipers the measurement length of each side is 30.0 plus minus 0 0.1 millimeter the measurements are used to calculate the volume of the cube what is the uh, what is the volume uh the formula of a cube of volume v is equals to l cube so l cube the what is the percentage uncertainty we will multi we will 0 0.1 upon uh, 30 and the power of the formula in the formula of length is cube so we multiply uh, 3 by this fraction and uh, fraction uncertainty and multiply by 100 to get in percentage uncertainty and we'll get answer one percent a student measured the current through a register and the potential difference across it. There is a 4% uncertainty in the reading and 1% uncertainty in potential, dif uh, in potential difference. The student calculate the resistance of a resistor. What is the percentage uncertainty in calculate? See, if the, the graph here, the formula for resistance is R is equals to V upon I. V has the power of 1, I has the power of 1. If we multiply 1 with 1% 1 and uh, the current uh, percent with 1, it will be simply as it is, like it will be 4 and it will be 1. So we'll simply add the 2 because there is no power. The power is 1, 1. So we will get 4% multiplied by 1 is equal to 4 plus 1% into 1, 1% 1 and the total would be 5%. 18. The student apply the potential difference of a four across the register of R resistance this for a time period of this. The student um, calculate the student calculate the energy stored in the above value 
if we v square t a t what is the absolute if we uh, whenever we are asked absolute uncertainty we will multiply this two value with the fractions we could so the power here of v is 2 so we will multiply 2 with the fraction of 0 0.1 upon 4 plus uh, as the power of t uh, as the power of r is 1 we will multiply 0 0.3 upon 10 from 1 so the answer will be uh, 1 and we and the power of t is also 1 so we one, uh, 1 upon 15 to 1 would be 1 upon 50 so and multiply 80 with this whole fraction so the answer would be 8 joules what will reduce the systematic error when taking measurement? Measuring the diameter of a wire at different points and taking average. Average is not average is only used to correct the readings of random error, not systematic error. Reducing the parallax effect by making marker in mirrors when using measurement amplitude offset. This is also uh, used to correct the uh, random error. Taking oscillation 20 times rather than second, finding the period. This is uh, taking a uh, reading again and again is also the a way to correct random error but adjusting the needle of the voltmeter so that it reads zero when there is no potential difference across it. So it will be a because what is a systematic error the value is either above stated or is it understated so to correct that so we have to put the reading ko zero, us needle ko zero pe lana padega, taake na wo above state ho na wo hamare paas understated value agar needle hamare paas upar chali jayegi to pehle se hi upar hogi to hamare value above stated aayegi matlab above stated matlab zyada badi value aayegi accuracy se upar aur agar hamare paas niche hogi to hamare paas value kam aayegi accuracy se to hame sabse pehle needle sahi karni hai so uh, the answer would be 19A. Let us consider 20. The experiments of the young modulus of the wire. The measurement has shown mass is this and original length of fire, this diameter of fire is this and extension of fire. The formula is given E is equals to 4 mg L pi d square e pi is a constant so it will not be considered so uh, the value of e is 1.610 power 10 meter minus two. So we will we will what we will do first we will calculate see the power on m is one the power on g uh, g is also a constant we will not consider it and l is the l is the power of one and d has a power of 2 and e is a power of 1. So firstly, we will uh, 0 0.02 upon 2.3 we will not multiply it by anything because the power is 1 because if then power is 1 the answer is same as it is plus the original length 0 0.05 upon 2.864 and we will multiply it by 1. So the answer is there it is plus the power of diameter is 2. So we will multiply 2 by 0 0.01 upon uh, 0 0.82 plus the uh, power of extension is also 1. So we will 0 0.2 upon 7.6 and multiply it with this answer and we will get uh, we will get 0 0.858 into 10 key power 16. So to keep it in three significant figure we will write is at 0 0.09 and 1.61 into 10 power 10. So question number 22, a student attempts to find the density P of aluminum by taking measurements of a rectangular sheet. Mass is M is equal to 51.6 plus 0 0.01 gram. Length is equals to 1.0 plus minus 0 0.1 centimeter. And width is equal to 10 plus 0 0.1 centimeter and thickness is equal to in the formula given is uh, M is equal to WLT. What is the Cal uh, what is the calculate density with this uncertainty? First, we will 
first we will put these value in this formula of uh, density uh, mass upon WLT and we will get a density value 2.58 which is in T significant figure then we will apply the formula then you will take out the uncertainties what is the value of the uncertainty uh, power the mass is power 1 and all these variables have power 1 so 0 0.1 upon 51.6 0 0.1 up, uh, 0 0.1 upon 10 0 0.1 upon 100 0.01 upon and we will to calculate the absolute uncertainty we will multiply this 2.58 with this value and we will get 0 0.1623 and now we look in the options and we will get it 0 0.26 no no 2.6 and 0 point if, if we round off 0 0.16 it will be 0 0.2 so this is 2 0.6 plus 0 minus 0 0.2 the Current in the block of semiconductor is 30 milliampere, where there is a potential difference of 10 volt across it. The dimension of the block and the direction of the current are shown. Dimensions of the block and dimensions of current are shown. So the current enter from that this phase, like and leaves this phase, so it will enter exactly on the opposite phase. So the for the electrical meter shows accurate to 0 0.1 plus minus. 0 0.1 volt dimension of the block are accurate to 0 0.02 what is the resistivity of the resistivity uh, what is the form of resistivity is equals to uh, uh, resistance is equal to resistivity length upon area so if we want to calculate the resistivity then we will resistivity Resist, uh, resistance area upon L, we will make the subject resistivity. Then you will simply replace area with V upon I because R is equal to V upon I and area with length into height. So the final formula we get is density is equals to uh, density is equals to uh, volume in volume into sorry voltage into height into length upon current into w with w then we will calculate the percentage the percentage uncertainty 0 0.1 upon okay 0. v the the electrical meter used accurate to 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 volt okay and the dimension of the block are 0 0.2 millimeter. What is the resistivity of the semiconductor? So we what we will do, we will do that. We will simply 0 0.1 upon 10, which where if you look at question number 24 in experiment to determine the atmospheric pressure p as it uses the equation uh, p is equal to rho gh where rho is equal to 13600 and the values are given what is the value of p with this uncertainty when um, trying to uh, when stated an appropriate number of significant figure first first of all we will uh, uh, apply the formula pressure is equal to rho gh and we will calculate a value answer um, we will calculate the value and we will calculate the value and we will get an answer. Then if we have to calculate the uncertainty, we will divide 100 by, uh, we will we will 100 upon 13,600 because the powers of rho g h are 1. So we, we will not multiply it with anything. 0 0.02 upon 9.81 plus 0 0.005 upon 0 0.762. And then we will multiply this answer with this value and we will simply get the answer d in appropriate significant figure. The answer should be in three significant figures for both the, uh, for both the, um uncertainty and the true value because it's a rule for uh, a rule as stated in the chapter that every time if we calculate the uncertainty or the true value then it should be in three sf and it is if we look at if we look at this uh question number 25 then it says that Question number 25, it says that quantity X has a fraction of X and quantity Y has a fraction uncertainty of Y. What is the fraction uncertainty X upon Y? So 
it's a very easy question so we can see that that the uncertainty is like if consider like z change in z upon z plus uh change in y change in l upon l so if we have a power two then we multiply this means that the quantity x is a fraction uncertainty of x it means that fraction uncertainty of x upon x is equal to x this means this so the what is the fraction entry of x upon y so this means that it is written like this uh fraction uncertainty of x upon y is equals to uncertainty is equals to x plus 2y because if we have a power y has a power of 2 and we multiply it to the answer would be simply x plus 2y then let me raise it then anybody can take a screenshot from here clear eraser drop it all if we consider question number 26 the student measures a time for one complete oscillation of a pendulum p and a length l the her, her, uh, her results are shown in the table she uses the formula t is equals to 2 pi l upon g we will uh, we will simply we will simply we will simply, we will simply uh, what is the best percentage uncertainty the value for we can write it as t is equals to 2 pi l upon g one upon two because the square root means one upon two then we can simply place it like this and we can send this here and it will be a whole square and only l upon g will be left t square upon four pi square is equals to l upon g and if we take it here then it will be g is equals to l divided by t square upon 4 pi so square so percentage uncertainty l has a power of 1 t has a power of 2 by the constant so we will not take it the so value of uncertainty will be uncertainty of uh, l is 0 0.01 0 0.001 0 .001 plus 2 multiplied by 0 0.1 and it will be 0. And we'll get the final answer by calculating this and multiplying by by hundred. Simply, it's very simple question. We moved. Now we'll move to the question number twenty-six. Twenty-six. The measurements are subject to systematic error and random error. Which measurements have high accuracy and low precision um high accuracy mean no uh, low or no systematic error low precision means random error is present high random error and high systematic error no as i as i told you high accuracy mean low or no systematic error and low precision means random error is present high random error and low systematic error it means that high random error means that low precision and uh, and high accuracy means uh, no systematic error high random error and no low systematic errors so the answer is b so now we will consider question number 28 variables x and y are related by the equation y is equals to p minus q x where p and q are constant value of x and y are measured experimentally the results contain a systematic error which graph best represents the results okay what are the graph uh, systematic error systematic error means that the graph will not start from its 
true value if it is starting from origin it will not start from origin if it's starting for certain value like p then it will not start from p so firstly if we check b then the graph is starting for p from p where it should be started so it is not the answer because the graph shouldn't start from the actual value if we consider d first of all it is like the equation here is a y is equals to mx plus c equation so it is a straight line first of all it is a graph and secondly the it is starting from p which is a value and it should not start for me if it contains systematic p from if it contains systematic error if we see c then it is not starting from p so the first uh, thing uh, is fulfilled but the second thing is that the graph should be straight line because the equation here y is equals to p minus qx is the equation of a straight line so the graph is a curve and if we see a then the answer is a because the graph is not starting from p and it is a straight line so the graph the answer is a now if we see question number 29 so the train of uh, the train energy is determined using the spring constant k and extension x the spring constant obeys a hooks law and the value of w is calculated using the equation w is equal to 1 upon 2 kx square the spring constant is 100 upon 2 and the extension is calculate the percentage uncertainty it is very easy we question both of us, different different values change you get different formulas are percentage uncertainty in the value of w upon w is equals to k hamare paas jo hai spring constant jo hai paas hai 2 newton meter 2 upon 100 plus 0 0.02 2.0.050 multiply by 100 you aap sab koi aa hi gaya hoga pura is pure expression ko multiply by 100 then you will get an answer okay so we will consider now question number 30 a single sheet of aluminium is uh, folded twice to produce a stack of four sheets. The total thickness of the stack of the sheet is to be 0 0.80, 10 power uh, 0 0.80 plus minus 0 0.02. The measurement is made using a digital caliper with a zero reading of minus 0 0.2 plus. It. So what is the percentage uncertainty in the calculated thickness? So true value after the adjusting for the zero meter first you will calculate that true value it will be 0 0.8 minus plus 0 0.2 it will be one percent one so, and the answer would be 0 0.25 plus minus 0 0.01 and 0 0.01 upon 0 0.25 and 200 and you'll get an answer four percent then Sorry, sorry, question. Let's consider question number 32. In 32, a simple electric circuit, uh, the current is a register major 2.50 milliampere. The register is marked using having a value of 4.7 plus minus 2%. If these values were to be calculated using, um, used to calculate the power dissipated in the register, what would be the percentage uncertainty? Okay, so power is a power is equal to i square r, the, uh, the power of i is 2 and the power of r is 1. So if we want to calculate the percentage uncertainty, then we will multiply 2 by 0, um, current is 0 0.05 upon 2.50, multiply by 100. And r, 2%, so we'll simply 2 upon 100 and we'll get our answer 6%. 33. The diagram shows a part of a thermometer. What a thermometer? What is the correct reading of the thermometer and the uncertainty in this reading? So the um so we all can see that the value here is the value here is between 24 and 25 so it would be 24.5 uh, 24 wait a minute 21 22 23 24 and 25 so it would be let's consider 24 okay because there is no 24.5 uh, we will consider 24 here precision of the thermometer it would be reading 0 0.05 because the lowest 
uh, 20, 21, 22. So we will simply have 1 upon 2, 0 0.5 precision, precision of an instrument is equals to lower count upon 2 and it will be 0 0.5. So the reading should be in 3 significant and it would be 24.0 plus minus 0 0.5. If we consider question number 34, then the resistance R of a resistor is to be uh, determined the current in the resistor and the potential difference V across are measured. The results with their uncertainties are I is equals to 2.0 plus minus 0.2 ampere and V is equal to the value of R is to be calculated. The value of R is to be calculated. Find the percentage uncertainty in the value of R. So, if you want to calculate the value of R, R is equals to V upon I. So, so firstly, we will calculate R is equals to 2 upon 15.0. We will get an answer from here and we will simply calculate the percentage uncertainty R upon this value. Here, answer. And as the values are 1, so 0, uh, powers are 1, 0 0.2 upon 2 plus 0 0.5 upon 15. And we'll multiply this answer and we'll get an answer. So this was a pretty simple question. So we consider question number 28. The resistance of a lamp is calculated using the value from the potential difference across it and the value of current so so it means that r is equals to v upon i so the value of the calculate from the potential difference which statement describes how the to combine the uncertainty uh when we have the question in that there is also a 2% uncertainty or 3% v and i we have uncertainty 5% or 6% so if we have power we uncertainty to multiply and add so in that we have the options we can add uncertainty so basically we percentages to add percentages so we know that add together the actual uncertainty in the potential difference and actual uncertainty in the current this is not the actual uncertainty uncertainty kabhi bhi plus nahi karta hamesha percentage add together the percentage uncertainty in potential difference and the percentage uncertainty in the current bilkul sahi subtract to hoti nahi uncertainty hamesha add hoti hai so a digital caliper is used to measure 28.50 mm width of plastic the digital caliper reads to nearly 0.01 mm see precision sahi what is the correct way to read record this reading so 28.50 mm so 0 0.01 into 10 power minus 2 meter. And if we want to keep it in 0 0.03, 0 0.001, it will be 10 key power minus 3 meters. Okay. So 10 key power minus 3 and 28.50 into 10 key power minus 3 millimeter. 28 into 10 power minus 3. So if we make it like here, 20, 2.8, 0, and 10 power minus 2 meters. So, and it is 10 power minus 3, 0 0.01. Okay, and it is 0 0.00. .00. Wait a minute. Twenty-eight point five zero millimeter. Twenty-eight point five. So here we will firstly convert uh, zero point zero one into meter, and we will consider. Uh, we will convert this into meters. So the answer here would be simply D because as we all know that 0 0.01 into 10 power minus 3 is equal to the 0 0.01 into 10 power minus 3 meters. So we have to look at this one value.
So the, moving on to the last question, an experiment is carried out to measure the resistance of the wire. There was something, an experiment. An experiment is used to carry it out to uh, measure the resistance of the wire. The current in the wire is uh, the current in the wire is of one point uh, zero plus minus two and three potential differences. R is equals to V upon I, so it would be eight. And if we and if we take out the uncertainty, V upon I, 0 0.4 upon 8 and 0 0.2 upon multiply by 8. So we'll get an answer of 2. So the answer will be 8 plus minus 2. So the video comes to an end. We solved like 35 questions. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.